put you in the center so you could be on TV. Okay. Thanks for the board. <laughs> People are going to want your autograph. Well, I guess somebody pretty. <laughs> Guys, feel like it's appropriate. I'm, I'm good with that. You know, it, it, we can always 
extend this another 30 days, revisit again at the end of July, because it certainly is a situation that I thought we'd be at 100% at this point in time and said we're backing up. So. Well, could we do this? Could we tell restaurants that have those out that we're going to ask them to take them in if they are opened up? And if they have chosen not to open up yet, then we could let them have keep it until they do open up with understanding when they do open up. They can no longer advertise curbside and drive through. Would that work, or is that too tedious on your crew to have to go around? It'll be difficult to figure out who's doing what would be my concern. Uh, yeah, I can see that being hard to keep up with. With who's doing who what? Who was open or who yeah. decided to close or the reopen or something like that. I mean, I, I kind of feel like we just revisited 30 days. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't let them have it for another, 30, for another 30 days because there is so much uncertainty. Yeah, so I feel like with the with the governor scaling things back, and if a restaurant, like you say, does it's not worth it to open up to 50 percent, there's not going to be very many cars there. People may not know that they're yeah. open, really open. And so the sign the sign is beneficial for them. And they've got they've, they've had a tough enough break. As it is. They have. It's there's a lot of, uh, I can't imagine what it would be like this small business situation. Me yeah. I think that's about a point that you know, some may just choose not to open up. It would be helpful to let them know what's going on. Before we're going curbside, I would say. So, yeah, I'm perfectly happy if, if you guys would like to do that. Had you notified all of them that they had to, to the end of June and then it would be revisited? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we then you let them know again that they had Mm -hmm. I've had one of my inspectors go around with the latest rules and pass those out and let them know, okay. you know what's going on. So we'll, and we'll do that again yeah. based off whatever we decide here today. To okay. reach out to Not a lot of, like I say, it's only a couple, three, but, but they got to get it. It's tough times. They do get attention. They do. I'm not a big fan of the signs themselves. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> For a short period of time, that they don't become faded and torn, and yeah. a true flutter flag is just waiting right. <laughs> to be torn away. That's what I. That's that's my beef with them. They, they yeah. tend to stay out past their lifespan. Any more discussion? We'll make a motion that we extend the variance for the flutter signs to July thirty first. All in favor? Okay, that's unanimous. Very good. And we'll get to see each other again at the end of July. <laughs> Look at it again on July. Yeah, I'll send you guys out the same way. I think we're looking at probably not a typical fourth Monday of the month, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's only four weeks, but yeah. very good. Just on that. 